Cebu Provincial Board member and former Bogo City Mayor Celestino Tining Martinez III may not yet be disqualified from his candidacy as 4th District Representative facing incumbent Congresswoman Janice Salimbangon. Martinez and three other city officials were convicted of graft by the Sandigan Bayan in its 119-page decision issued last February 28, 2022, which ordered 10 years of imprisonment for diverting public funds worth 20 million pesos, which were were supposedly intended for farmers, fisherfolk, and other marginalized sectors in 2007. Aside from the prison sentence, they were perpetually disqualified from holding public office and ordered to pay 20 million pesos worth of civil liabilities to the national government. Their retirement benefits were ordered forfeited. But according to Comelec Cebu Provincial Supervisor Attorney Jerome Brillantes, since the decision is not yet final and executory, Martinez cannot be disqualified just just yet for the May 2022 elections. Yes. Yes. Actually, after um, this is final and executory, so I'm disqualified. Yeah, but I cannot comment about, about it because I don't know about the case or whatever. If it is convicted, convicted just as Sandigan Bayan, uh, every person, every, every person, every, every accused yeah, has the right to appeal it. Um, appeal to the president of the Supreme Court. So, most likely, if it's a more judgment, no? uh, we didn't pay you some kadagan. It is only the message of kadagan, kung the final and executory na yun ang ato ang judgment. In a text message sent to MyTV Cebu, Martinez confirmed that he and his lawyers are now seeking legal remedies on the Sandigan Bayan decision. He refused to comment further on the details of the case in compliance with the sub judice rule. He says he has high respects for the integrity of the country's justice system and that he believes justice will be duly served. He added that when he decided to run for public office, he already anticipated this event to happen, but that this will not diminish his commitment for Cebu's 4th District. The three other ex-city officials who were convicted were Councillor Crescencio Verdida, who was the municipal accountant during the time, former municipal treasurer Rhett Minguez, and former municipal assistant treasurer Julio Ursunal Jr. They were accused of conspiring with one another in diverting 20 million pesos worth in public funds to the Bogo Municipal Employees Multipurpose Cooperative, a private corporation, when the beneficiaries should have been the members of the Ginintuang Agriculturang Makamasa program. Aside from Martinez and the three, the Sandigan Bayan also recently sentenced former Aluginsan Mayor Augusto Cesar Moreno and a certain Evangeline Manigos up to a total of 20 years in imprisonment for violating the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. With Shariza Mayoy, this has been Andrea Patania Matthew for My TV Cebu.